New at four with Mercedes-Benz Stadium set to open soon. Some leaders say the real progress comes from what you don't see, underground. We want to give you a live look right now at this brand new stadium. Check it out. It is looking great. Today I was back out there and learned how they're actually using rainwater to prevent flooding. If we just built the building and sent it all to the storm system, that has impacts downstream with flooding. So we have a really aggressive stormwater management program here. Mercedes-Benz Stadium General Manager Scott Jenkins explained just how aggressive their water conservation system is at the Falcons' new home. With a 100-year rain event, we can store about 80% of that rain on site. So where is all the water going once it hits this massive concrete structure? This map shows you the collection areas. Under the new rerouted portion of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, there's a 680,000-gallon cistern with a cooling tower. Underneath this brand new landscaping and sidewalk is the underground stormwater vault. It is nearly 165,000 cubic feet and can hold 1,233,240 gallons. It's one of the most impaired waterways in the entire metro area. Chattahoochee River Keeper Jason Olseff says Mercedes Benz Stadium sits in the Proctor Creek watershed, which feeds right into our drinking water supply, the Hooch. He says the new stadium is a model for future development to prevent flooding. Compared to a lot of other large scale developments that have come into the city area, the stadium has gone above and beyond what was required of them. And the stadium is on track to receive a LEED Platinum certification, which measures how green a building is. It will be the first for any sports facility.